fine and thicker than the show. But I love that Rita posted after Dorit announced that she was separating. She posted, guess who's still together? Now, it wasn't directed directly at Dorit, but it was her and Harry. They are in love. They are a very good couple. She's like, look who's still together. And she posted her and Harry, which is kind of some shade to Kyle and Mo and Dorit and PK. She has a point, Rena. She has a point. Everyone says, are you shocked about Kyle and Mo? No. Are you shocked about Dorit and PK? No. Am I shocked about Lisa Vanderpump and Ken or or, or Lisa and, and Harry? Yes. That would shock me. If Lisa and Harry announced a divorce, oh. that would shock me. It's not going to happen. They're in love. They have a nice Wait. man. But don't you think PK and Dorit were in love? Like, I thought she was pretty crazy about him. It shocks me. It shocks me more than Kyle and Mo. Because like I told you, I've been hearing for years about the diddling and the daddling. Mo diddles and he daddles. And I don't know what he diddles and daddles with. It ain't my business to ask if it's men or women or younger gentlemen. That ain't my business. But I heard the streets of West Hollywood talking. So that didn't shock me. Yeah, I mean, PK and Dorit, I felt like it was Melissa and Joe Gorga. They were Bonnie and Clyde. They were in it together, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yeah, me too. And I just felt, I don't know, they just seemed so um, connected. Now, LVP was also on Watch What Happens Live this past week. LVP weighed in. And Lisa says they've been separated for months and he lives at a hotel, which is so fascinating to me because I will say... This was years ago, though, because Kyle, because Dorit and PK have been married for a long time. You know, so this is years and years ago. Uh, never mind. I, I don't want to. What were you going to say? Well, I just, you know, this was probably six or seven years ago. I mean, twist my arm. But, you know, I showed up to the uh, Polo Lounge. Um, in Beverly around, Hills. In Beverly Hills. It was around Christmas time. And PK was there solo dolo. And uh, I don't usually stay out late, but I, you know, we arrived at like seven or eight o'clock. And he was on his phone, very nice looking in real life, actually. And it was a little chunky, but that never stopped me. And he was just hanging because I got excited. I thought, oh, well, I'm going to see Dory. He wasn't oh. with Dory. He was not with Dory. Now, this was years ago. But, you know, again, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. He could have been there conducting business. He probably had just had a business dinner. Uh, Boy George could have been there for all I know. He was just hanging out in the lobby solo. Then he went back into the bar. That was it. So I don't know. But LVP says that because, of course, they all I love the expats. I love an English. No, expats are the Americans that live other places. OK, I love the English that live in America. They all stay very tight knit. They're all BFF. And uh, LVP says she's known for a long time that they've been on the outs. So I don't know. Maybe it was all fake for TV, right? Maybe we thought they were in love, but they've they've really been separated. And uh listen, when you could tell when Yuchi, a little Yuchi, who I think wouldn't mind lining up herself for PK, when Yuchi was on uh the show here, she said that she heard that he was living, and that's when I first heard it, and then I investigated. Um, that she's been living in the Beverly Hills Hotel. Lisa Rinna, I mean, Lisa Vanderpump is now saying, like, I'm not shocked because I heard that he's been living in the Beverly Hills Hotel all this time. Yeah, I mean, you know, so I'm I'm just not shocked. Oh, weird. Like, I, I need to get into people's bank accounts because yeah. where's the cash coming? Because I've said this before. I don't know where. Beverly Hills Hotel. Is insane. Well, per prices night. of hotels change, right? They change, like. I live in a hotel in New York. I own a condo in a hotel now, but it's so, so I look at the prices of the hotel because if you want to come to New York, I say, why don't you just stay in the hotel where I live and you have to pay. So I look at the prices are different. They're different in December than in the summer. The cheapest I have ever seen the Beverly Hills hotel is like 1300 a night. I have not seen it less than that. 1300 times 30 is Forty thousand dollars, approximately a month. So, right, like living there is like forty grand a month ish. Even if you get a deal for doing a monthly rate, which I don't even think the Beverly Hills Hotel would do. You want a, a, a discount here to stay at a hotel in the Hamptons all summer? They don't do it. They don't need it. Like the hotels are like sold out. So, just figure like forty grand a month. Now I'm getting riled up. I agree with you. I don't understand the finances either. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, the more I read 
I do. Th- I think it's actually over, over between those two. Yeah, I, I think so. I just think. I think because of the finances. I mean, dude, we're gonna have yeah. a. Have a th- I, 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 I don't know. Again, I don't know. Now, I, I read PKs in real estate. Now, if you were, if you got into real estate eight years ago, you know, it's as you know, it's been gangbusters the past couple of years. So, I. I had heard, I don't know if this is true, you read the same things, that he and Mo were doing some business together and investing. So, you know, it's very possible PK runs in those circles. So, I mean, if he's got some investments in here in LA, he's got investments in the UK. I mean, you, sorry. Sarah Um, just spilled her water or something. It's okay. Um, It's very possible that, Maybe he is bringing in one hundred twenty, hundred thirty thousand dollars a month. Um, it's possible, but I, I tend to the more I read about it, then when I think I it's over. People, I think it's, I think it's over, over too. And I mean, where? So now we have a Beverly Hills with all single people. What did Sutton say recently? She spoke to Dory, Miss Sutton. I was confused by this because the the caption she was on the red carpet. The caption was Sutton Strack speaks to Dorit. Now, when I clicked on the actual video, Sutton said, I haven't had time to speak to her, but I'm thinking about her and nothing's worse than a divorce. And I've been through it. And you just have to put one front in front of the other. And will this bring oh, no, Kyle I, together with Dorit? I mean, Kyle just no, went through it. I don't no. think. Is it over between Kyle and Dorit? Look, I mean- I see both things. I see Dorit revealing this text both ways. Because if someone is, like, when Kyle says, a real friend wouldn't do that to me. No, they wouldn't. Faye Resnick would not do this to you. They would not, Faye Resnick would not take a text that you that you sent her and reveal it on TV. Because Faye is truly Kyle's real friend, Right. No, Dorita is not your real friend. Like, g- welcome to the party. Glad you admit it. Her Sarah Fraser, she will do anything to stay on the show. And like, I'm okay with that. Like, it comes the time when, I mean, you just can't have real friends on Housewives. Why, when the producers come to you and say, who do you know, would you ever give a real friend's name? I don't know. I would never, if I were on a show and they said, who do you recommend? I'm sorry, Sarah. I don't think your name would be on the list. Sorry. Oh, I was going to say, you put my name up there in a heartbeat. I would think that you oh. would sacrifice me in a second, right? I mean, I would sacrifice you. Like, wouldn't you? Oh, I mean, <laughs> Thank you. I, I would hope you would sacrifice me. Yes. Well, yeah, I would. But then, you know, like, I mean, we'll have. 